Hello there folks and thanks for joining me at my tying bench once again. And this time around I'm going to tie up a very simple version of the uh, pheasant tail nymph. This particular nymph doesn't have a bead and it's not weighted. And uh, I got this little guy here out of one of my books. Uh, American Fly Tying Manual here. I don't know if it's in focus but it's by Dave Hughes. It's got a lot of good patterns in it there. And I thought you might want to see this guy tied up. It says in the book that it's the first time tying it for me. I'm definitely going to add some to my box for the next season. And it's tied from a 10 down to a 16. And it mentions in the book that it's a very good pattern for fussy trout. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. So I'll get this little guy of the vise here and a fresh hook in and I'll get started for you. And the hook I'm using is a Mustad 3906B. It's a wet fly slash nymph hook. And I'm tying the larger size here. A size 10 for the video. So we'll get our hook lock down in there. Alrighty. Okay. Now, for thread I'm using some Danville Calls for Brown thread. So I got some Danville 6 hot Brown here. So the first thing we'll do is start a thread base down like always here. Put a hook eye length behind the eye. And we're going to wrap back to just in front of the barb here. Okay. And we'll snip off the tag end. And another wrap back to... Okay. And there's only two ingredients in the fly besides the thread. We have our pheasant tail fibers and some copper wire you can use gold too if you wish so the first thing is the tail and it doesn't have too many fibers in the tail it's very sparse so i'm only going to pull off four to five fibers for the tail i'll tie those tips in there and i want that to be about length of the hook shank so we'll tie that on top with a pinch wrap just like so Okay, there's our tail, and I'm going to trim that to where I want the body to end there. And we'll come forward and bind down the rest of that uh, material. Nice snug wraps going forward. Just like so. Okay, then we're going to come back a ways now. We're going to tie in our copper wire here. So I'm just going to come up around, catch that in. And the thread wraps, we'll usually bring that down around the bottom of the hooks where I want it. And we'll go to right in front of our tail here. Okay. Come forward a ways and stop our thread. Okay, next we're going to grab another bunch of these pheasant tail fibers here. And I'd say I'm pulling off about 12 to 15 fibers here for the body. Okay, and I'm going to trim them in, trim the tips rather, and tie them in by the tips. Just trim them off a little bit there. Okay, we're going to catch those in. Just going to spin my bobbin, makes it easier to catch them in there. And okay, give it another, another shot here, folks. There we go. Alright, bring that to right in front of the tail, tie them in nice and snug, then we'll wrap forward to where we want to tie off. Alright, so next we're going to wrap the pheasant tail fibers. As you know, they're not real long, so you got to be careful as you're wrapping here. Okay. Okay, and we'll proceed forward here. To where we get where we want to tie off. I'm going to come down around. Just put my finger there to hold them in place. I'm going to come up. Make a couple wraps over. Pull my thread tight once again. Okay. And make a couple more securing wraps there. Come in and trim that excess off. it down good 
several snook wraps. There we go. So there's the body on that guy. Now let's simply take our rib and we're going to counter wrap that. And just make nice even wraps going up. Probably six to seven turns with the wire. I'm going to catch that in. Keep the thread nice and tight there. I'll make a couple wraps forward on it. Like so. And fold it back. I like to fold that back. It locks that in place real well. And then I'll helicopter that off. Get a hold of it there. There we go. Okay, our last step in the fly is just to turn my fly upside down there and tie in the legs. And simply some more of the uh, pheasant tail fibers. Almost the same amount as the tail, pretty much. And we're just going to tie the tips underneath. So I'm going to pull another bunch off the uh, pheasant tail here. Okay. Just want to even those ends up a little bit there, make sure they're not too bad. All right, and it shows the tail or the legs rather going back to about the burb, so we'll measure that up. I'll come with a pinch wrap, come down, and wrap forward, nice snug wraps. There we go, that's good right there. And I'll come in. Snip those excess ends off there. Then I'll make several snug wraps forward and back. To lock those in there nice and good and tight. Turn my fly back up right away. Alrighty, and that's all there is to this little pheasant tail pattern. Very simple tie. A lot easier than the regular pheasant tail or the beadhead pheasant tail. I just thought you might like to see this very simple version of it. Easy to tie. It won't take long to knock out a bunch of these to put in the box. So our last step. Let's take our whip finisher here. And we'll do a four or six turn whip on them here. Alright. Come up. Snugger. Not there, see it well. And yeah, snip that excess off. Alrighty. Now, the last step in this little fly is just to uh, want to take some of my bone dry and put on the thread wraps here and cure it up. Okay. Just go around there and cover those wraps. Just like so. Alrighty folks, done deal. Just got to cure that up. Grab my UV light here. Give that a cure. It only takes a few seconds and it'll be cured. That's fine. And there we have it, done deal. Very simplistic pattern, but it's like many simple patterns. They're quick to tie, but they definitely catch fish and I believe this is going to be one for sure so I recommend you give this one a try it doesn't take a lot of materials or time to tie this guy up very simple so I hope you enjoyed this fly this time around and I appreciate real, everyone who has subscribed to my channel any new subscribers I th thank you very much and uh, if this is your first time viewing and you'd like to see more flies don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a like button too if you wish and any comments put them down below because i'll definitely read all your comments so thanks for watching and until next time out there happy tying and i shall see you all again soon folks so long for now